Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are having a blessed and positive day. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something in this video or any of my other videos that your guides want you to see or hear. If you are returning, hey soul family, what's going on? I hope that you guys are blessed and well and that the content is helping you on your spiritual path. So I was guided to uh, one of my books and I just opened it randomly and there is a message for you here. So let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale any stress or anxiety that you may be feeling at this time. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Divine Ancestors and Divine Beings of the Highest White Light, please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know at this time. Let there be none of me and all of you. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy. Please close the door anything that is not of the Highest White Light. And please encamp the angels of protection around myself and the collective. Shame. Okay. So, this is the excerpt that I've been guided to share. It says, surround yourself with people who speak truth to your BS. You need people in your life who are kind, accepting, and loving. But it is equally important to have people who speak the truth to you. As a professor, as Professor Brene Brown, PhD, often says, our friends are our compasses. They show us the way and redirect us when we've settled too low or our pride is leading us away from our center. Our ego often gets in the way of true friendship because we fiend the good stuff, the things that allow us to simply get by in life without having to work much. We don't always want to be challenged because truth telling and honesty can hurt. True power of good friends is that they will respect the fragility of our hearts, but also require us to step into our own truth with grace and honesty. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, but also speak the truth to you, okay? So I feel like this message is coming up because God is wanting someone here to evaluate the people around you. What do they bring to your life? Are they yes people, okay? Do they inspire you to do the work with chop wood, okay? see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Are they co-creating with you? Are they guiding you to co-create with the Most High God? Okay. There's something significant about chop wood that wanted me to take this out. Okay. I feel as though someone has someone in their energy that's pushing against you doing the work that you feel intuitively guided to do internally, okay? I feel as though your guides in the Most High are guiding you to work on yourself, love yourself more, uh, wean yourself off of some type of substance that you may be using to cope with your reality, I feel as though you're around a lot of people that encourage you to stay in this energy of substance abuse or numbing the pain in some type of way as opposed to doing the work 
to restore balance or to create balance. This 42 breaks down to a six, which is all about balance and harmony. I feel like you're around a lot of people that don't want to see you grow. Okay. They don't want to see you do things by the book. Okay. They don't want you to reach this place of a new life. Okay. That means you'll be leaving them behind and they don't want that. Okay. They don't want this happy, happy for you because they're unwilling to do the work to get to that place. What else, Holy Spirit? Okay. Yeah, we have message in a bottle. Another number six, one and five, 15 breaks down to a six. Okay, God is definitely sending you messages. Okay, you may be having dreams or visions about ascending, moving to a different place, physically and figuratively. I feel like you're getting the message. You got the call. God is calling you with this message in a bottle. God is sending you this message saying, okay, it's time for you to clean it up. It's time for you to ascend. It's time for you to move from this place that you're in. But the people around you are not allowing you to move forward or they're pushing against it and they have a significant influence over you okay with a leg up here you are I feel like you are holding a lot of these people you're helping a lot of people with a leg up. These people are codependent on you. And again, we have truth be told, just like I just read in the book, okay? These people are not telling you the truth. You are not telling you the truth. You allow yourself to sit in this situation and they feel like they want you to be fair to them by staying in this low vibrational toxic energy that you're in but God is calling you out of it they wanted me to rearrange these cards because this message in the bottle needs to fall center with this truth be told okay God is wanting to speak some truth to you there's one more card here time to go God is saying no more no more of this it's time for you to move on from these people okay God sees that you have a loyal heart this is why you were chosen by God this is why God is is calling on you okay there's a lot of people here holding this broom they're showing me the image of people trying to hide this broom from you so that you will not have the ability to cleanse yourself to cleanse your life to do the work to get out of this situation I want this one first okay look at this addict in the reverse you're around people that are lying to you telling you oh this is not addictions it's okay to just do this or do that every now and then to relax yourself okay when really you are addicted to something that's not healthy for you okay God is saying take a closer look at the people around you these people really are bringing adversity into your life but they're cloaking themselves as friends and family okay it's what they're not saying with unspoken words. <clears throat> God is wanting you to set some strong boundaries with these people. Welcome home again. God is saying, 
saying it's time to go. You don't belong with these people. You belong with the Most High God. God is ready to help you. God is ready to give you a leg up to get you started on this journey of ascension. Okay? God is wanting you to practice regularly. And this is in the sense of cleansing practices, detox. I'm hearing detox. So you may need to, um, well, I'm seeing drinking a lot of water, okay? Also getting a lot of rest. Somebody here, yeah, self-love and introspection. God is wanting you to go into hermit mode right now. your discernment this is in the book use your discernment who are you around what are their true intentions okay especially concerning this chopped wood how do you feel God is saying you're getting a nudge when you do whatever this is when you use whatever substances you use or whatever it is that you're doing it's not only substances it's other things that someone here is doing to for temporary satisfaction to ease the pain or to distract yourself, okay? What else? November could be significant, okay? I'm hearing nearing the end, so this could be something towards the end of the year or the end of a season, okay? You could also be born in November or something could be taking place this coming November or it could have happened last November okay God is telling you it's time for you to transform and evolve you're ready this is the call that you're receiving from God You have the desire. I can feel it. You have the desire to move on from this environment that you're in. I'm seeing someone that is really weighed down and tired. I feel like when you're engaging in these activities or abusing whatever this is that you're using, you feel very drained. You feel very lost. Okay? It's time. The Most High is saying, have a seat. Come on in and have a seat, okay? Whenever you get this card, this is God speaking directly to you, sitting you down in the principal's office, okay? Telling you it's time to work on everything that you need to do because you're meant to be someone completely different. God is saying what you need to do and why, okay? You need to distance yourself. Why are you being called into the principal's office? Because you need to distance yourself from these people immediately. Divine protection and karmic debt. God is saying you are protected. You are a divine being, okay? You've lost your way. And many of these situations were placed in your path for you to learn something. Yes, there will be karmic debt for you to pay. We all have to pay it. But you are going to get through it, okay? You are going through your dark night of the soul. If you haven't already, you will be. Or you're in the midst of it right now, okay? Where you start to really see clearly. Um, once the darkness clears out, you'll start to see clearly what is going on around you, who was around you, what needs to be done, okay? God is saying, get ready, okay? There's something that you're meant to be doing here. And this is about to happen really fast. Oh, wow. Just as I said that coming soon is on the bottom of the deck okay so this something's about to take place like 
now, okay? The minute you have a seat and connect and set these boundaries, something is going to be activated, okay? God is urging you also to go outside to get into nature and connect. You're going to receive downloads. Okay, with a ring, okay, this is symbolic of God's call to you. God is calling you. Also, you could be hearing ringing in your ears. This is your guides trying to connect with you, wanting you to quiet your mind and meditate, get into prayer. Okay, it's time to go. We saw the time to go card come out. God is calling you out of the matrix. This is in the reverse. You are meant to be a spiritual assassin, okay? God has placed you around these people that you are around because they are exactly the type of people that you will be taking down. You have been inside. This is an inside job I'm hearing. You had to be inside and very close to these types of energies to understand them in order to be the spiritual assassin that God is calling you to be. Whoa. Okay, you're going to be taking down people that love to create conflict, that are drama starters, causing chaos, the deceptive types of energies that you are around right now, you know very well. And for this very reason, God is going to use you to create a new earth by removing these types of energies or affecting change in these types of energies beautiful okay let's get a couple of these and we'll close it out okay God is saying get some rest with sweet dreams because you're about to be really busy we get ready here and schedule God is about to really get working on you and you're about to go into boot camp okay yep living and learning this person is studying you're going into boot camp. Okay. You are going to be a part of this justice team. Okay. 11. Card number 11. This is about alignment. You're about to be aligned with your true self, your true identity, who you truly must be. I just heard that God is communicating with you when you, okay, <laughs> when you think you are high from whatever it is that you're using and you start to zone out and hear things, God has been talking to you this entire time. God has been talking to you and that's why the effects of whatever this substance is that you're using, look at this friendship in reverse, these people are not your friends these people want loss for you if you are in this energy of loss you'll be more willing and open to give to whoever's around you okay and they're around you these people are, cannot be trusted okay stress when you are stressed, you tend to gravitate to those closest to you. You tend to overgive, okay, because you're wanting to receive something and you feel like, okay, if I keep giving to these people, then I'm going to receive what I, what I deserve and what I need. Someone's going to give me a leg up and that is never going to happen while these people are in your life. Yeah, this is your energy. You're daydreaming. You're thinking about when am I going to receive the love that I deserve? When am I going to be at peace? Okay. And God is saying, when you come on in and have a seat, you are going to feel the love that God and your guides have for you. They're going to prune you. They're going to work on you. Some of it is going to be tough love. It's not all going to be roses and rainbows. But they love you. They see what you're meant to do. 
They know who you are. God chose you. Okay. Look at this. Merit making. This is your energy. Goodness. Morality. This is who you are. And this is why you're going to be blessed. And this is why God chose you. Okay. Evidence of why God chose you. Also, there is going to be some evidence coming up about these people. You're going to discover that these people have really been working against you this whole time. Okay? You may get an indication because someone that has been trying to make you sick is going to end up being sick. Okay? I feel like this is your energy, hesitation. You have someone of the light on one shoulder and someone of the darkness on the other shoulder. These people are constantly in your ear and they don't want to leave your side because they know that you're tapped in. They know that you are connected to God. If they leave you alone too long, you'll get really connected. You'll get in the principal's office and they will no longer have access to you. That is why they're wanting you to set strong boundaries. I'm seeing Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron is working behind the scenes gathering this evidence okay god is telling you again get into hermit mode with the introvert card here it's time to go within okay all of this indulgence that has been taking place with these people these people this is what they want you to see friendships fun gathering just drinking having a good time but this is who these people really are they're all about conflict and drama and stress Okay. God is saying stop It's time to stop dealing with these people It's time to stop leaving yourself Open to these people I'm seeing people walking around in someone else's place They probably have All access to your home These people are not To be trusted Okay You're too trusting of people some of these people you don't even know. People are... Good news is coming. People... This is falling right under merit making, okay? This is giving me the energy of a sacred union. This is coming up soon. Some of these people are inviting people into your home that you don't really know very well. Whoever this is that is resonating with... You may have gatherings at your home or someone may decide to have gatherings at your home and you don't really oppose it. You just kind of go with the flow. Whoever this is I'm picking up on, you need to stop allowing people to come withdraw from these people. You need to stop allowing these people to come in your home. People are gaining off of you, taking from you. You may not even realize people are just coming in, stealing stuff from you. This could be energetically or physically, okay? Look at this with this third wheel. This right here is the energy of people. This person here, you think this is your person? This person is hold, It has a connection with someone else. These people are not your friends. These people are not your loves. Whoever this is, this is a clear indication. They're working behind your back, doing a lot behind your back, okay? With okay in the reverse, God is saying this is not okay. This is not okay. Remove yourself. Set boundaries. Yep, because these people are all about what they can get from you. Okay, with imagination here, they're showing me you... You are a person that is abundant. You are a person that manifests. It's a powerful manifester. These people know who you are. I feel like they know more about you than you do. They're trying to capitalize off of you. What else, Holy Spirit? Time to get by yourself right now time it's time we got the introvert card out here we gotta have a seat 
says the most high God, you need to get on in there. They're wanting me to leave this card up because the time is now. Okay. No more compromising with these people and trying to appease what these people want. This is a card number 33. That's a master number. The ascendant masters are also working with you. No more of this. No more trying to be Mr. or Mrs. Nice Guy or Nice Girl. Okay. Let's get some tarot. There's just a few cards here. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, do you see how the Holy Spirit is speaking? As soon as I pick up a deck, there's a message. These people, what they're trying to bring to you is not what it appears to be. Okay? The moon is here. What's hidden? Their intentions are hidden. They are not who you think they are. We had karmic debt coming out. Okay? We all have to pay it. These people, they're going to receive their karma for what they've been trying to do to you or what they have been doing to you. I'm hearing there's more to the story. Okay? I just saw the Queen of Wands. I feel like the Queen of Wands is using some type of energetic manipulation to be in some type of love relationship with you. This queen of wands could have destroyed a connection that you had that was a divine connection. Yep, with the world coming up, that's a confirmation. You ended something with someone because of the manipulation that this person, yeah, you ended something with someone that was, that is now very self-sufficient, independent, secure, connected to the Most High. You ended this connection because that person, yeah, Ten of Swords, that person had a hand in this situation. Energetically, you may not have even known this person did a lot of manipulation to change your perspective about this person. This person kept a lot of toxic people around you. This, some, this They're showing me the energy of a lot of intimate encounters that this person, uh, I feel like this person urged you to, to enter into a lot of intimate situations that you would have normally not been involved in. But I feel like as you started to get into this, you started to like this a lot more, whoever I'm picking up on. Oh boy. With this, somebody here could be a sex worker with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Okay. Wow. I feel like the person that you were connected to is a high priestess. And this Queen of Wands energy could be a dark high priestess as well. This person wanted to destroy your connection to this divine partner so that you would stay in a low vibration okay and be in this nine of swords energy this is where you are now okay and this person <laughs> this is the chaos and conflict that we read about in the book this is what they're talking about this person does not have good intentions for you this person is under judgment saw the six of cups and as I saw that I'm just seeing a lot of people standing around drinking smoking uh, other in other activities in the bedroom it's, it's a lot it's a lot okay knight of cups 
Ten of Wands. This person, this ring leader, came to you with this cup, which appeared to be a cup of love, and it's really heavy burdens, Ten of Wands. Okay? For a very long time, this person plotted on you. These people, there's more people involved. I just heard correction people, okay? A very aggressive and powerful group of people have been determined to prevent you, to keep you drunk, keep you mentally preoccupied and in deep sorrow. Somebody's, this is somebody's objective as they continuously watch Page of Swords and to keep you in this hypersexual Knight of Wands energy as they continue to plant these negative seeds and bring towers into your life. But God is here illuminating this situation. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this is what they planned for you. The longer, this is falling right on top of eternal love, okay? Because they did not want you to connect with this divine counterpart. And they did not want you to connect with God. They wanted that to be over. God is calling you into hermit mode right now for prayer, meditation, and connection. What else should we be aware of? Yeah. When I just say hermit mode, this is what God wants you to do. Get into hermit mode. Walk away from these people. Walk away from all of this toxicity in these glasses. Drugs, alcohol, hypersexual, sexual encounter, encounters, whatever that is. God is saying it's time to go. Time to go. They want time to go out. They want you to see it. Time to go. And we have schedule here and boundaries. This is a time sensitive message. God is saying, when you see this, do this now. Get in here with me and have a seat like we saw. Okay, <laughs> they wanted me to take that card out too. So again, this is time sensitive. When you hear this, it's time for you to, to get busy, make a move. Okay, this does not mean that you need to get frantic. I'm here and remain calm. Simply call out to the Most High. Connect with God. Connect with your angels. This is energy of healing. They want to work on you and with you. It's time for boot camp. Yeah. Time to come out of this broken, betrayed energy, okay? God is wanting to restore balance, equal give and take. We started out with the six, okay? That's about harmony and balance. This is what God wants for you. God is going to offer you another opportunity. As soon as you come out of this energy, move away from these people and set boundaries, you are going to get what is owed to you, what you deserve, okay? This pinnacle is coming. We started out with these people bringing something, but it really was the Ten of Wands, okay? It's coming for you. God, divine beings, Holy Spirit, why is the hermit here? Give me something on the hermit. Being guided to clarify the hermit. Yeah. <laughs> this is you. I just described you with this card. That's who they want you. They want you to get into this energy. Okay? Stay home. <laughs> Walk away from these people. Stay home. Lock the door. Don't allow these people in. I heard change your locks. So some of these people may have keys to your house. Yeah, change your locks. What 
lost it. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this is what they want to do. They want to come over. They want to party. They want to get you drunk. They want to enter, engage in three or more sums. Okay? No. No, no, no. Okay, this is what they want to do. Look at these cups. A lot of cup energy. A lot of indulgence. Overindulgence, okay? This is how they see you. They see you as the person with everything. And you may not have everything. You may be wondering, like, what these people are seeing. But they know who you are. And they know what you're meant to be doing. And they want to destroy it. Because they won't be able to use you. They won't be able to do everything that they want to do if you are working with the most high God, okay? Yeah, they want you to keep being a fool. Okay? But justice is here. Final messages, Holy Spirit. Okay, your wands. We saw good news coming out. There's some news coming in. And it's coming in fast about what has been hidden from you. Okay? They're going to be people wanting to come in and apologize because they're going to see once you get in there and have a seat with the Most High God, you're going to receive an overflow of everything, 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 okay? Love, money, clarity, peace, gifts, spiritual gifts, protection, all of it is yours, okay? Protection just said protection. They guided me to this card. Heavily protected from these types of energies. New beginnings. Okay. Archangel Michael is here. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Happiness. The sun. Illumination. Clarity. Okay. It's all coming. Let me get you some advice. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the message? Guardian Angel, trust all unfolds in perfect timing. You are one with divine will. Focus only on love. Focus only on love and all you truly desire will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient. I, your guardian angel, am watching over you, okay? I feel like you are working closely with Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron. They are both very close to you, watching over you, watching what these people are doing, protecting you, okay? So God again wants me to remind you to get on in there have a seat talk to most high god it's time to go set these boundaries with these people change your locks move if you have to do what you need to do these people can no longer have this access to you stand firm okay this is the energy also of standing firm do not allow yourself to be uh, bamboozled because you have some trickster energies that want to control yeah they want to control the narrative of your life okay you are a divine being you are meant to be doing something far greater than sitting up drinking with these people okay that's not what you're meant to be doing time to go okay i love you i really hope that this message helps someone if so, please like, share, comment, subscribe, join the family, check the description box for the light work goodie bag because you definitely need to get into some deep cleansing meditations, positive affirmations to will yourself out of this, okay? Peace and blessings. Ashe.